government grant initiative, that's what it became. Barbara Lehman and Beverly Vandeboer have seen their neighborhood change for the worse. There were prostitutes up and down Dodge. There was drug dealing going on there all the time. There were so many scary looking people right here at Dodge and Flower. The two are participating members of the Dodge Flower Neighborhood Association, and they are just some of many that have seen increasing crime plague their midtown neighborhood. Well, their worries are justified. A drug house was housed right here in this residential neighborhood near the 3000 block of Glen. Midtown Tucson, especially the Dodge Flower neighborhood, has heavy foot traffic and is notorious for drug use, specifically the use of methamphetamine. The, the drug is a very powerful thing. It becomes number one in their life. And they'll lie and steal to get that drug. 70 to 80 percent of the homes in this area are rental properties. Residents blame landlords for renting to people who do not take as much pride in the neighborhood. Landlords don't care who they rent to as long as they get the money every month. Yeah, I wish they would ask themselves, would I allow, would I be happy with my rental next door to the house I live in now and would I be happy with the people I'm renting to as neighbors? Mm -hmm. If landlords, homeowners, and renters take those words to heart, the neighborhood could be a safer place for families and everyone to enjoy. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Lauren Ibrahim.